Fashion is like a river. It's always moving, but you don't always notice the shifts from one day to the next. It's when you step back that you see just how far you've come. Let's hop in our time machine and land first in 1603. You would find high collars, stiffened garments, lots of layering, and an overall formality to clothing that reflected the social structures of the time. Women wore corsets, farthingales, and starched ruffs that could probably serve as satellite dishes if so desired. Men were decked in doublets, separated hose, breeches, and if they had the coin, they were draped in layers and layers that screamed social status louder than a town crier. Fast forward 20 years to 1623. Are there changes? Sure, but let's temper our expectations. 20 years is about a generation, a blink in the grand tapestry of fashion. Broadly speaking, we're still seeing the same silhouettes and styles that are hallmarks of the early Baroque period. Clothing remained very much a representative of one's place in the hierarchical society. Now let's jump to 1973. This is a transitional period, dancing away from the late 60s hippie boom into the disco inferno. You've got bell-bottoms, psychedelic patterns, and hair that's big enough to have its own ecosystem. And color, that expressive, unapologetic color in every shade under the sun. Teleport to 1993, and the contrast could almost give you whiplash. The vibrant tones have mellowed out or turned grungy. Flannel shirts tied around the waist, band tees, ripped jeans are the new icons. Stereotyped 80s glam and excess gave way to a more lived-in, casual look. Music tastes had changed. Culture had shifted. Media evolved at a breakneck speed. Fashion wasn't just about looking a certain way. It was a statement, a form of identity in a world growing more interlinked and complex. Here's the crux. The speed at which fashion changed accelerated massively as we neared the late 20th century. It's down to a lot of factors. Globalization, mass media, technology, shifts in cultural values, and the rapid fire way in which trends ignite and burn out now, like shooting stars in a night sky of velvet trends. So, to answer the question, someone from 1603 might blend in reasonably well in 1623, once they brushed off the dust from time travel. But drop a person from 1973 into a 1993 grunge concert in Portland, and it's like putting a neon sign next to a candle. They'd stick out and how. It's not just about the clothes. It's about the whole mood, the vibe, the you-had-to-be-there taste in the air that clothing can evoke or scream loudly. I'm from Portland, a city not known for sticking to the script, and can attest to the ever-evolving door of what's in. What maintains, though, is our individual expression through our garb, whether it's modest, extreme, or something that looks like it was stolen from Liberace's closet. Fashion, simply put, is a fluent language that speaks without saying a word. And it seems in the modern era, we've got a lot more to say.